anyways. So because I'm worried about our comp overall, I'm just going to pick him. It's like, that's why I pick Soldier. It's basically because I don't think our comp has a strong theme that I can highlight with one more pick. And so I'm just going to play a hero who can kind of just be okay. And that's what Soldier's all about. It's just being okay. I like this angle because I can just apply pressure from a very, like, it's very hard. Like, the snipers can't see me on top. On as one, set up that kill for my Ash. This Ryan isn't dropping his shield, so we really, I mean, we can pressure this Ash too, but I really love breaking Ryan's shield on Soldier. It's just one of the best things you can do. You're very good at it. You do a lot of sustained damage. We're gonna do this jump. That's a good trick jump you should learn if you're a soldier player. We're gonna wait for the Ash to come out of spawn. Three, two, one. Okay, we'll kill this guy first. Oh, he'll kill me. I missed my rocket, actually. That was my bad. Maybe I should have gone for the Ash first because he didn't realize I was there. But I was worried about revealing my position to Hanzo. It's fine. This fight's looking bad there. Hanzo's popping heads. So we just gotta chill. Is it a six-man chatter, or that's what we need here, so... Alright, Ash is gonna be alone here. They res Hanzo, but they don't res Ash. She's dead, too, so I'm gonna go all the way behind right now. Everybody this is the power of Soldier, is that... This is... I would literally do this in a high rank game. This is not even, like, some low rank troll strat. This is, like... I, this is literally the correct play. Because I can just spawn camp the Ash again, and then come fight from behind. Like, I get that kill essentially for free, and then I go pressure mercy. And so, it's really actually is quite difficult for anyone to do anything about this. The Hanzo's gonna climb high ground. He's low though, and this guy healed. He got healed now. See how I just control this key power position? And it just does so much. Like, my team has such a free time fighting because I'm in an extremely powerful position. I'm applying a lot of pressure. At this point, I'm just going to kill the Rhine, though, because they don't have another Nano. They won't be able to protect him. I'm one shot for Hanzo, so I'm dropping a heal. Oh, I'm dead to that for sure, but that's maybe an overextension with the bubble. From me, not from him. It was a good play by him to counter with the, with the Zarya bubble. But um, it's all right. We got the first control. That's what matters. Uh... High ground is so good on this map. I'm going to take the long rollout just to go high ground. This is actually not I, the faster way to go out that door, but I, I didn't realize it until a little bit later. So it's fine. I'll make the adjustment. This guy's in a good spot. That's actually nice from the Hanzo because I, I can't win that fight. Okay, now I'm... Now I, never mind. I can go that way because my Lucia kills him. Like, one of my key principles of Overwatch, guys, that I think literally doesn't matter your SR, you can apply this principle is I, I don't take bad fights. That's a bad fight, but I'm forced to take it. But um, when, when you have an option, always take the easy fight. Always kill somebody for free. Don't fight the heroes who want to fight you. That Zarya is just full energy, and if I don't kill her, she's going to kill our whole team, so I have to go fight her. But um, like that Hanzo top right, like this Ash, she puts damage on me, I'm just going to hide. You know, there's no honor in high-level play. There's absolutely no honor. Don't be like, oh, I'm better. I'm going to go fight that guy because I'm better than him. You know, it's like he's not a hero that counters me in that situation. I just will ignore him and do something else. Honestly, I should consider swapping because tech visor is pretty bad, but. We're just going to fast visor here. We're actually doing a lot with this, believe it or not. We got the kill anyway. The guy's gonna get the Mega, so we're just gonna turn off him and go to someone else. He died actually to my Ash somehow. I don't know how that happened. Maybe he didn't get the Mega. Maybe he already took the Mega, actually, it wasn't there. Ooh, a little super jump action. They're not touching. Nice. I think they could have touched that, but I don't know. It's hard to know from their perspective. Thinking about switching here, honestly. Might be better to be on Hanzo. Maybe we can make the soldier work, though. We really just love having this heavy shield DPS. And the power of soldiers, I can take a rotation right now. Like, this is what soldier can do that another hero can't do. Is I can run all the way around to this high ground. 
This is the scary part. Oh my god, is that a big... It is a big shatter. Big flank. It's actually a really nice that the guy flanks. Kill the Mercy first, because she's the healer. Ooh, I got rolled. Nice. He had to hit the headshot there, or else I won't die, so it's nice. Oh, that's a big sleep. I'm not a young man anymore. I want fire. Fire is will. That see that Hanzo, like he even hit a good shot at me, guys, but a higher level player, they would have just contested me on the way to the high ground. Like that's the key mistake he made. It's like he hit a good shot, and you it'd be easy to from his perspective be like, oh I own why is my team noob? But the reality is that he shouldn't have let me be on the high ground. He had to hit a very hard shot to get me off the high ground. But a higher level player would have put themselves in a position to not have a hard shot. To have an easy shot. Oh my god, this Ana is absolutely a wild human. Just gonna chill. Okay, this is really making me want to switch, actually. My hero is basically hard counter. I I'm gonna give up Visor here, because Doomfist is... Doomfist is such a hard counter to a soldier. It's really bad. You don't want to play this matchup. I'm gonna switch to McCree. Actually, no. I'm gonna switch to Tracer here. Because they have Zen Ana, who are both vulnerable to, to Tracer. And especially that duo is very vulnerable. And Doomfist has a very bad matchup against Tracer. One of the worst in the game. Like, he, but Doomfist isn't going to be the one to kill me. I might die, but it won't be Doomfist. I won't want to go in until my team is pressuring. Shut up. Dude, this guy's, this guy's good, dude. He's switching. He's counterpicking me on McCree. I'm just gonna go touch car here. There's nothing really I can do. Just gonna see if we can stay alive. Look at us go. We're just running. We're just annoying. I'm just like, nope, I won't fight you. You wanna fight me? Good luck. I'm not gonna fight you. And in doing so, even though I'm not actually like killing anybody or dealing damage, I'm still having a lot of impact in the game, you know? I baited a flash, I baited Discord on me, I go high ground, make sure the Ash is not up here, she's not. Now we're gonna go aggressive. Force a trance, he did not need a trance, but it's okay. Didn't really force it, but they used it. We're discorded, but we're gonna go on him again because Discord's gonna come off. He might get saved by his Ana. He is. That's okay. We're gonna recall. Our Ryan hit a fat shatter though. Boom. That's what we needed. Now we're gonna go in again on the Ana or the Zen. This time the Ana's not ready for him. One thing that's good is if you're on a target that's getting Ana pocketed that you can't kill, what, the way I like to play it is I'll switch target and then I'll go back to that target. Like, I still want to... I still want to kill the Zen. Uh, I still want to kill the Zen, but I just can't when the Ana's looking at him. But I can also change target, chill for a little, and then just come back later. And odds are the Ana's not ready for the second attempt. Like, but if I just stayed on the Zen forever, the Ana would just keep healing him forever. So I have to let the Ana get distracted and then make the play again. And then that opens it up successfully. Job. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Have the same game plan. We have nobody top, which makes me feel weird. I don't know if my normal play is a dash back, like, but look, look at this guy. <laughs> That's I had to do that fast though, because the fight's under pressure. I can't set up the good combo. We 
He got the level out. Now the Zen's not ready for me. Is so Ana healing this guy? So since I see that, I really want to be cautious about this fight. Okay, maybe we can kill her anyway. The Ana didn't heal her perfectly either, but... That's a scary fight because Zarya can easily turn fights if she has a lot of heals from an Ana. So I, as soon as I saw that, I was like more cautious. It makes me not want... I'm not going to like dash in, you know. I'm just going to poke and... Okay, my Rota gets the hook. Now I'll commit, you know. So I, I'm waiting for a positive sign to make a commitment because the situation is prima facie bad. Enemy going cards. It's not really good from them because it's going to make it very easy for me to hit a blade. It's very easy to blade. Like, this is why Genji's so good here. Unfortunately, we didn't get the nano. But our, sky, our Ana was heavily pressured there because the Ryan moved in. Which meant, because of that happening, the, their tanks weren't going to come back for me on, on the blade. I also didn't really use the blade very well there. I, I could have died on the Zen. I just didn't really use it properly. But this is why Genji's so good, because when the enemy pushes out like that, they just leave their backline completely exposed. And I can, like, drop in from the high ground. Oh, shit. That's pretty bad. Oh, don't body lock me, bro. That was almost a sick play from their Zen. I think we can kill the Zen, though, on the other side. This is why Genji's so good. I mean, like, like I can just call up and around him. He doesn't know what side I'm coming from. Bob is really scary here, but our Bob is holding point too, so I don't need to do anything. Fortunately, my Mercy is going to die, but I don't think I can do anything about that. Unfortunately. But it's okay. That's a decent hold on first. Jace Day 06, thanks for the prime. When she play Genji over other flankers? It's mostly map dependent and support dependent. Like, you really need a hero. You basically need Ana. Like, you basically cannot play Gedry without Ana. Or a Mercy at the very minimum. You really need some sort of damage boost for the blade. I mean, there's some very niche scenarios at the highest level where that's not true. Where you rely on something like Supercharger to boost the blade. But I really would not recommend that at a lower level. It's much... You want much easier combos. Like, we could play right now. But I'm not... I'm not it's not intelligent. Oh, I had him there, I think, without the bubble. It's okay, though. We're getting wiped by Blade and Grav, which is, like, sort of expected with Blade and Grav. And we still have... We almost have Nano, so... I don't really... Really just don't want to do anything until we have this Nano Blade. The really most important thing is that we get a good contest, and we get our Nano off. Now we're in a little bit of a scary situation though because the enemy is going to have a tempo lead on us. They're going to have a trance here with no real force for us. So they could play a very fast style. But this is why I love Genji so much, especially against the Zen, because I can probably just force this trance for free. Oh my god. Actual freaks. I'm getting owned. I got dominated. Might be in trouble here. Uh. I'm just going to play for last with this Genji. I could go Tracer here to have a chance at touching, but it just looks so bad. I think I'd rather rather just play for second point. Play for the, the full hold at last point. Or rather, third point, I should say, not second point. This is really bad for my Ana. Okay, good, she dies. You don't want to stay alive like that in the back line. It's just better to die. My tanks are also fighting, also not correct. It's better to just get out because the enemy is more players than you. You don't want to... comes back to this obvious, the same principle every time, whether it's in a 1v1 matchup, or the whole team is there, I don't want to take disadvantage fights. I only want to fight when I'm strong and they are weak. And as a team, that's the same thing is true even more so. When you're strong and they're weak, that's the time to fight. When you're weak, they're strong, you run. Like, you have to... Even, obviously, at this start, I could play like a moron and just like run in and I'd probably still win games. 
just relying on aim, but there definitely comes a point where that's cap. This is really bad from him to go on me, kind of wasting his time. We're going to see if we can just hold point here. We can kill supports. It's huge. Any kill we get here is very huge. Oh, wow. This is so good for us. This is so incredibly good for us. We got two kills. As long as my Ana doesn't die right now, then I'll be pretty bad. But I can probably win with just a naked blade here. Oh, this is so good for us. Yeah, that grab was very bad. He he didn't need it. I mean, I could have just died to left click. But we're just going to win without an blade here. I think he has trance? I'm not sure. I don't assume he does. Oh, he don't, I don't have Nano. Go alone. Uh, Nano, somebody else. Very unfortunate. We can still hold. It's gonna be hard. We need to kill the Zen here. Uh, that's, that's unfortunate. I was waiting for the Nano because I was trying to one-shot people through trance, but then he just did. He used the Nano already on somebody else. A little bit unfortunate. We're just gonna go tracer and stall. It's gonna be an OT round here, most likely. Winnable, actually. Sorry, is absolutely wasting her time. She cannot kill me efficiently. She can kill me, but it's just not worth her time. She has to look at other stuff. Like, what is this guy doing, bro? Okay, I'm too weak. No heals to do that play. Let's chill. Now, their fight's looking pretty bad. I mean, that, that's a classic example of wasting grab. I mean, that fight was already looking bad for them. And that grab, even if he gets a triple kill, they would lose. So, you would really... Yeah, it's just unwinnable. Grab or no grab, so it's a waste. That was really my team. That wasn't even really that much of a play from me. It's my job to kill backline because I'm a tracer, so I just hope my team holds cart there and hit it up with the coal. That's already a little bit questionable with those grabs. Like, that was like focusing me grab.